Hi everyone, Tina Killer in here. Thanks so much for joining me as we continue our discussion on my top 10 foods that will help you prepare your meal plan. If you're a new grocery shopper and you don't know where to start in your health and fitness journey, I hope that you're following along with this series on the top 10. I'm providing you a list of all different top 10s, fruits, vegetables, grains. Today, we're gonna to talk about meats and proteins. By taking some of the items off of those top 10 lists, you're gonna be able to build a good, solid, nutritional meal plan for yourself without being totally overwhelmed of, I don't know what to eat. All right, so let's get to it. Today, we're talking about meats and we're talking about proteins. Now, why exactly does your body need proteins? Okay, proteins are the building blocks to your body. Your body needs those proteins to do everything in its system, okay? Here's the really important thing about muscles and proteins. So everybody thinks that if they eat more protein, they'll build muscles. That's not true, not true. You actually have to build your muscles with exercise, but the proteins are necessary to repair those muscles and to help them grow. Okay, but you actually do the work when you're exercising. Technically, not really. Technically, it all kind of happens afterwards, but you have to build your muscles with exercise. You can't do it with proteins alone. Okay, in my blog post that I'll put up later, I'm gonna give you 10 reasons on why you need to eat your proteins. All right, so let's get started on the top 10 list. Uh, chicken, 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 chicken. How tired of you are eating chicken? because you know you have to eat chicken. I get it, chicken's at the top of my list too. My daughter rolls her eyes every time she says, what's for dinner, and I say, chicken. Okay, ground chicken, chicken breast, chicken tenderloins. You can do dark meat chicken. I'm okay with dark meat chicken, okay? It's a little higher in fat, little higher in calorie, more flavor. You have your trade-off, okay? So I'm not a white meat chicken only person. Eat predominantly more white meat than dark meat though, okay? But ground chicken's great, all right? We all talk about regular burgers. We talk about turkey burgers. How about a chicken burger? Oh, talking about turkey, that's number two on the list. Turkey's a great alternative to chicken. If you're getting tired of chicken, try turkey, okay? And you can do ground turkey too. Make those burgers. When you do your ground chicken or you do your ground turkey and you're making a burger, you've got to season your burgers though, okay? It's not like when you have regular old ground beef where you've got a lot of fat in there and the fat contributes to the taste of your burger. You don't have a lot of fat with chicken or with turkey, so you've got to season those burgers, okay? Get creative. Look things up on Pinterest. The internet has a huge plethora of various recipes for you for chicken and for turkey burgers. In fact, what I'll do in my blog post, I'll give you one of my favorite recipes, California turkey burgers. Yum, I'll put that in the blog post, okay? Lean steaks, another great protein source. Now mind you, I said lean, okay? You can't eat fatty steaks all the time. You've gotta have lean steaks, okay? An occasional fattier steak on occasion is okay, not all the time. Pork, you know what they say, the other white meat, eat your pork too, okay? Various port parts of pork are totally fine, totally fine. Tenderloins, nice and tender though. Try and stick to the tenderloin versus bacon, okay. Two items that are gonna cross over, right? Remember we talked about some crossover things. So two of the items that are gonna cross over from today until tomorrow are eggs and Greek yogurt. Protein sources, but also part of that dairy side too. So those are gonna cross over as well. Greek yogurt though, not plain yogurt, uh, not regular yogurt, all right? And what we wanna do is we wanna try and have plain yogurt, right? If you get a flavored yogurt, tons of added sugars in there. If you can't stomach plain Greek yogurt quite yet, here's my suggestion. Buy vanilla Greek yogurt and plain Greek yogurt, mix them together, as you serve it, okay? Mix them together. Little by little, decrease the vanilla and increase the plain as your taste buds get accustomed to the taste and the texture of that plain Greek yogurt. Soon you'll be eating plain Greek yogurt without any issues at all. 
When we talk about eggs, eat the yolk. Don't just do egg whites only. Your body needs fat too. Don't worry, we're gonna talk about healthy fats too. But your body needs the fats. So go ahead, eat the yolk, you're okay. All right, fish, any kind of fish. I'm good with fish, any kind of fish. Shellfish, whatever fish you wanna do. Here's what you need to know on fish. Wild caught. Please don't eat farm raised fish. Like, have you ever seen a fish farm? Like, have you ever seen tilapia in a fish farm? Oh God, please don't eat that. Please don't eat that. Wild caught fish. Got it? Okay. The last three things are really geared towards your vegetarians who need a protein source, but don't eat meats. Beans, again, one of those crossovers, right? We talked about those in the grain category yesterday, but beans loaded with protein, perfect for your vegetarian, right? Some people have meatless Mondays. Beans are a good place to replace those proteins without making it a meat source. Same thing with tofu. Now I know I'm gonna get a little bit of flack because of the tofu, because of the soy, but again, I'm half Japanese. Tofu's in my blood, it's in my DNA. We eat tofu around here. Again, not all of the time, but tofu is a great non-meat protein source. And lastly is Shakeology. Shakeology is not only protein for me, it's all of my nutrients and vitamins, right? But it is a big source of protein in my diet and I consider it one serving size for me for proteins. All right, so when you think about proteins, it's not unlimited proteins. You've gotta keep those portion sizes in check as well. Your protein serving size is approximately three quarters of a cup, four to six ounces or so, okay? So don't go overboard, three quarters of a cup. Got it? All right, so make sure you check out the blog later on today that I will post up here. Again, I'll include my recipe for my California turkey burger. And don't forget, there's also that meal planner that's gonna be included in that, in that blog post as well. So this way you can take all of these top 10 lists that I'm giving you and create your meal planner based on these top 10s. Tomorrow, we're gonna to talk a little bit more about dairy and why it's important for you to have dairy, okay? And I think probably one of the things is gonna be calcium and bones. Yeah, that might, that might kind of come into play tomorrow as we talk about that. All right, so thanks for joining me today as we talked about your meat and protein sources. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Look forward to talking to you tomorrow about dairy. We might throw in some healthy fats in there too. And I'll see you on the flip side.